The translation given here is, And we have not sent any messenger except with revelation in the language of his people. In Read the original verse. Leave. It doesn't say with revelation at all. Yes, they have put in <laughs> telling. And we have not sent so any message. Translate correctly. Yes. And we forget about italics. Huh? Yes. And we have not sent any messenger except with the language of his people, in order that he might make clear to them that Allah leaves to go astray whom He wills and guides whom He wills, and He is the mighty, the wise. Now the question in relation to the amendment, amended translation, please. What is the meaning of Illa Bilisani Qawmihi? If if the Prophet knows the language of his people, then should we take an Nabi al as an exception in the rule or a distinction? No. It doesn't say this verse that Allah reveals to him in the language of his people. It's not at all mentioned. All that is mentioned is that the prophet of a people knows the language of those people so that he can make the way of Allah clear to them. See? This is the Quranic beauty. It doesn't let you touch it with criticism. All people over the world have witnessed this, that their prophets who came to them knew the language. Otherwise they could not make them understand the meaning of the revelation truth which Allah had bestowed upon them. That is one thing. And the other thing is, what is the language of Ahazul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Is it not Arabic? And is it not true that Arabic is mother of all tongues? So Allah chose a universal prophet in a universal language. I mean, a universal prophet whose language was universal originally, whose language gave birth to all other languages. This is the claim of Hazrat Masih Maudu which he has proved with incontrovertible evidence in his book Minul Rahman. And Hazrat Sheikh Muhammad Amr Sahib of Faisalabad, late Hazrat Sheikh Muhammad Amr Sahib, has employed those 12 principles mentioned by Hazrat Masih Maudu and resolved the problem of different languages by application of those rules. And he has left behind documents of covering more than 40 languages, which I have got in my possession. And he traces all the languages back to Arabic by the application of the same principles. But no other language can claim the same thing. This is the beauty of this exercise, that it is shown to the world with strong evidence that Arabic is the mother of all tongues. So, Ahadur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam addressed the whole world in a language which was the mother of their tongue as well and appeared in which township? Makkah, the mother of all the townships. 
who is called Umul Qura. So they are not just accidents. Any sensible man can see that the universal prophet is chosen in a language, uh, chosen from a people who spoke the language which was the mother of all tongues. The universal prophet appeared in a township which is referred to as mother of all townships. Why? It's a different story. But these two, you know, things together, read together, are not accidents. They indicate that he was certainly the universal prophet. Are you answered or you have some other things? Good. Can I?